Hey everyone, Shabim here, and we are back with some more of the Youth Squad Legends Harrogate Town. Uh, today we've got a game against Grimsby. We're looking pretty good in the league now. We've got, uh, is it 15 games remaining, is it, do you think? Yeah, 46, is it? 15 games remaining. We're currently third in the league. We're quite a distance away from first and second, but we only need to get automatic promotion, which third place will give us, um, which we should be able to do because we do have a bit of a gap, hopefully, forming from fourth position. So without further ado, let's get straight into our first game of the episode. Yeah, Grimsby Town away from home. Should be an easy one. Uh, which team we're going to go for then in today's game? I won't lie, it's been about a week or so since I've been on this because I've been booing a bit the May United recording instead. And I must admit, I've got a little bit of confused with um, who's who at this point in time. So it uh, might take me a few uh, minutes to get back into this one. We'll go, for the, we'll go for the attacking team. I mean, it's a team that is 17th in the league, so it should be okay. Why not? Should be okay. Here we go. Right, so, um, of course, uh, Banks is the main man, 86. Will we be able to keep him? I don't know. I'm going to have to look at trying to give him a new contract in the new season. It's just tricky, because last time I tried to give him a new contract, they sacked me. Oh, I left my speakers on. There we go. Turn them down. Right. Come on, give me the ratings. There we go, okay. Should be a fairly easy game for us, to be honest. Uh, there has been a couple of updates since the last time I played this as well. So we should have some improvements and um, some better youth scouting going on as well, hopefully. There's some new nations we can scout now as well, like Iceland as well, which would be pretty cool. We'll do a bit of that later on. Um, I don't think we're due to get any scouts back this episode, unless... We um, get quite far in this month, which I can't see. I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of games this month. There we go. Ball goes out. Not doing too well here, are we? As they get themselves a goal, is that? No, it's gone out for a corner. Okay. Yeah, need to really get track of who's who. We need to get everyone above 60 so we can see what their potentials are going to be. We'll have a bit of a clear out in the summer as well, I feel like. Um, of course, we do have a really good play in our Youth Academy. 91 to 94 potential. Currently 65 as well, so good enough to play in League 1 if we get promoted. Good enough to replace Banks if we do lose him. Which I really don't want to happen, but it's a possibility... Um, there it is, 1-0. It's Dragomir with a goal. Lovely. One of our CDMs. Willie, 1-0 after half an hour. That's what we like to see. We need to get wins against these sort of teams. Now, we know what is expected of us. The board want automatic promotion. Third place will do it for us. And as long as we stay in decent form, we should be able to secure third place. Second and first are quite a distance ahead, so we're going to have to really... Do well to catch them up if we if we do. I don't think we're going to win the league this year, but we don't need to. We just need to get promoted at the end of the day. And as always, the longer this goes, the better our team becomes. Because we've got a team of very high potential players. So the longer this season goes, the uh, the better those players are getting week in, week out. And yeah, we're going to see some uh, some great progression. Oh, it was a good attempt, good attempt. There we go. 1-0 at half time. We'll consider making a couple of substitutions uh, soon, I think. Uh, Sembene and Hilton not having the best of games or Baldwin. Goalkeeper's not having a good game either. That's probably because he hasn't touched the ball yet. So it's not necessarily his fault, to be honest. Here is Hilton on the ball. Cuts it back. Oh, we've lost it. So we've got about half an hour left, so I'll consider making the substitutes now as long as they don't score. They did score. Okay. They did score. That's that's a problem. Okay, I will still make some substitutes now, though. I'm going to make um, Carvajal on in place of Timmermans. And we'll bring on um, Segura in place of Sembene. And don't want to change one of the strike. I'm going to take off Movilla and bring on Ubogu. Let's make a big triple substitute. We need to win this game. We do need to win this game. So uh, the fresh legs hopefully will give us a bit of a hand. Banks does incredibly well here. Goes out for a corner. To be taken by Banks as well. 
There it is. Straight back into it. Carver House straight on the pitch. Straight in with a headed goal from the corner. And we're back in the lead. Okay, that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Losing the ball there is not what we want to see, to be honest. But Get the ball back. It's Banks again. Nice as Hilton loses it again. Let's come more into this game now, Hilton. Come on. Yep, yeah, get that ball. Banks in. There we go. Hilton makes it 3 1. We've got a bit of comfort now. We've got a bit of comfort here. That's what we needed. Right, we're in a good position. I'm pretty happy. 3-1 up. Just see this game out now. It'd be nice to get another goal, actually. But at least everyone's playing well. It's good to get the form up, because obviously that does also affect the improvements the players make in the... Um, Development plans. Oh, it's 3-2. Okay, that's annoying. Oh, well, at least we did get that third goal. It's not too much of a problem. There we go. 3-2 win. Not ideal to concede two goals, but at least we get the three points. That's the main thing. Uh, and that's going to continue to push us because we did have a couple of games in hand on fourth position. So that's going to help push us a little bit further away from them. All right, so as you can see, we're currently three points ahead of Bristol Rovers. With a game in hand on as well, which would put us up to 63, which would be five points below Cheltenham. So we're not like massively away from the rest of the league. Not massively away. Got a loan offer for Dragomir. I'm not interested at this point in time. Um, Come back in the summer. Well, when, once we know what we're doing, come back in the summer. All right, so we've not had a lot of time to rest before this game, have we, against Port Vale? But... Um, we look to be in a decent position. Uh, Port Vale are 11th in the league. I don't think we want to go too attacking in this one. Um, so maybe go for... Not our defensive side. Maybe our standard size, a 4-4-2. Okay, let's go with a 4-4-2 for this one. See how we get on. All right. 4-4-2. Should be um, a better get. I just want to keep a clean sheet, to be honest. I mean, the 3-2 win was good. This might be our game in hand, actually, against um, Bristol Rovers. So it's really important to get that extra, extra little point, isn't it, really? That extra win just to pull us away from them in fourth position and really confirm ourselves in the top three, which is really what we need. Right, so we're blue circles today. That was a terrible pass, but okay. With Phil Jones, that's Phil Jones. Go on, get that ball off them. Don't let them win this game. Because we're catching up with second position as well. We definitely have the opportunity to catch them completely. I might do what I did with the Man United team on this one as well and really just start to um, increase the amount of starting lineup choices I have. Just uh, different formations, different lineups, different um, teams, just to give everyone the opportunity to show what they can do. Not ideal losing the ball again, but we're always on top of them. Here we go, bringing the ball forward. Uh, Banks went for a cheeky shot. You can't, you can't say boot him, really, can you? He's such a good player. You've got to respect everything he tries to do. That's nice ball over the top. Banks almost getting on the end of that. Ball 
Ball goes out for our throw. Still nil-nil after 40 minutes here, which is not, again, ideal. We want to get the win here. That's a good play as long as it's not offside. I don't think he is offside. It looks like he's continuing on, but he's running backwards, which is not ideal. Well, that was terrible, wasn't it? Who's 19? Um, 19 is Adu. Why was our right back the furthest man forward for a start? Hey ho. The wing backs still do need a lot of work, I think. They're still quite young. Um, they're still quite new to the whole uh, the whole thing, aren't they, really? So we'll see how they get on. So it's Kairesu was not having a very good game at all at this point in time. Neither is Montgomery either, really. Oh. Just wide. I think it looks like we got to bring old Kairesu off, I think. Let's... Um, See what other attacking mids we have on the bench available. Segura is available, so you can come on. Um, apart from that, I don't think there's much else. I mean, can you play there? Oh, you can play as a cam, Carvajal. Okay. Okay, we'll do that then. We'll bring you on as well. Double substitution. The two cams that aren't necessarily playing so well are going to get taken off and replaced by other cams. No. Oh. Okay, 1-0 down. Not good. Not good at all. We can't drop points here. We're in such an important part of the season now. We want to get into League 1 for next season. We can't afford to be dropping points. We're in a very precarious position already. Out for a goal kick. They're in again. They're on the back. What the hell? It was number four. Barbosa has disappeared off the pitch then. Okay, well, we saw ball anyway. Here we go. Cuts inside. Loses it. It's going to be our free kick again, is it? Yep. Okay, Banks to take this. Go on, drop it on someone's head. Nope. Okay. Nice ball out wide. Go on, Banks. Oh, he had the ball then as well. He had his back to goal, though. We're definitely on the offensive constantly. We just can't seem to get through them. They're really defending well. Be a big win for Port Vale here to defeat the team that are third in League Two. Oh, my God. It's not going well at all, is it? We do have a couple of players that just do not perform, and I don't know if that's um, I don't know if that's something we we need to have a look at. I mean, no matter what their potential is, if they're not going to perform, we have to really have a look at that in the future. I think, but that's a loss. That's a one nil loss away from home against Port Vale. Not ideal whatsoever. Hmm. Right, next up we've got Lincoln. Uh, let's knock out a training session. Okay, lovely. Right, so Lincoln now in the league. Uh, really, we've had three games in five days. There's a lot of games. Uh, they're also 11th Lincoln. I think I'm going to go for the more defensive one, I think. Oh, the two wing-backs are really struggling. Let's go attacking then, because the two wing-backs are really knackered. Uh, let's go attacking. We've got the three centre-backs and the two CDMs, which is still, even though it's defensive, it's still um, pretty good, to be honest. I pressed play, didn't I? I only pressed play, didn't I? I didn't even read what this was either. I don't want to play. Uh, jump to sim. There we go. We are underway. We need to get the win here. We can't drop points in two games in a row when we're fighting for promotion. 
especially not against mid-table teams. We're going to have much more difficult teams to face off against. We need to be beating the ones that are classes easier. Oh, open me curtain, let some light in. The cat's not impressed by that, are you? You're not impressed by the lights? No. I think I woke her up. Anyway, important games. Oh, good bit of play there, but we just lost it at the final moment. Nice ball out wide. Come on, get that ball back. Come on. We can't be dropping points to Lincoln. Right, okay. Nice ball forward. I'm a bit worried here because we are struggling to get any possession on the ball. Right, we'd have the possession now. What are we going to do with it? I don't mind them having more possession as long as we're more dangerous with our possession, which we are looking at the moment like we could be. Oh, lost the ball again. Oh, my God. I think we'll get sacked if we try and get a third season in uh, League 2, you know. I really do. Let's see how we go. We need to get back on top of this one. The whole team's not playing well at the moment. The whole team. I just don't get we've got such a good set of players. Why are we not dominating this league? I just don't quite get it, to be honest. I mean, when we play well, we play really well. Look at this. Look at this play. It's through, but not enough. Okay, we're going to have to change things up a little bit, aren't we? Um, right, can I play a formation with three strikers? Is there one with three strikers rather than... I don't want wingers. I want three strikers. Center forwards. Okay, let's do that. Um, Banks, Banks, you play there in the middle, and then I'm going to bring you forward as a cam still. Okay. Um, could I not make you a striker? There you go, striker, striker, okay. Okay, so we've got Movilla, uh, Hilton... And let's bring on Ubogu as well. And then we're going to have... Can you play centre mid? You can. And you can play centre mid as well. Yep. You're both not necessarily happy at centre mid, but you can play there. We just have to go for it. We're going to have to go aggressive. There's not really much else I can do at this point in time. i just got to throw as many strikers on there as possible and, uh, and just go for this game, you know? Right, there's the triple substitution made. Let's see how we get on. A lot more striking options up there now. We're dominating the game, so why not just use them? We're just losing 1-0, which is not ideal. We'll get that ball back. Right, counter-attack. Come on. We've got three good players up front now. There we go. Banks over the top. Got to be Banks. Come on, put it in. Why didn't you take a shot, Banks? Oh, my God. Why did you wait so late to take a shot? Ball at the top. There we go. Slammed in by Kryeziu. Makes it 1-1. Can we turn this around completely? Come on. Come on. It's 1-1. Can we completely turn this game around now? If we can get a win out of this, this would be a big, pivotal moment of our season. Come 
on, get the ball, get the ball. Oh, my God. Okay, Cano having to do well in goal. Oh, oh my God. <sighs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say at all. I, I just, uh. Back to back losses. Back to back losses. We might have dropped out the top three now. We might have dropped out the top three. No, we're still in third. But that um, that six point gap we had to Bristol Rovers is now down to zero. Which is not great at all. Anyway, that'll be the end of today's video. By the looks of it, I'm going to just push forward. Let me just keep you here around just in case we do get to... No, we're not going to. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll get back next time round. We're going to start things off with a match against Southend United by the looks of it. Um, which again, after two losses in a row, Southend's going to be a very important game. Um, also, hopefully next time around we should get, um, I think all of our youth scouts back by the looks of it. Let have a quick look. Um, we get one on the 23rd. We should definitely get the one that's scouting Nigeria. And we'll get one on the second and another one on the second as well. So we should get um, hopefully all three scouts back next episode and really look to see what the future of this club will hold with these three five-star, five-star scouts. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy, then you're a sick and twisted individual who likes to see me fail. Um, but hey-ho, I'll see you again very, very soon. Well, tomorrow in this case for our next episode of the U-Squad Legends. Bye-bye.